Hey guys, welcome back to Athletic Mission Baseball Academy, the go-to place for all of your strategic hitting information. If you're new here, we are all about helping players and coaches deepen their strategic understanding of hitting. So today we're gonna to tackle a critical topic that can transform your performance at the plate, the art of understanding the strike zone. The rectangle of spade may seem simple, but don't be fooled. There's a lot more to it that meets the eye. An intimate understanding of the strike zone is the cornerstone of successful hitting. It's a vital element that separates average hitters from great hitters. It helps you make better swing decisions, reduce your strikeout, increase your chances of getting on base. And the best part, it's something that every player can improve on regardless of your age or experience level. So, whether you're just starting out or you're an experienced player, Looking to gain an edge, this video is for you. Let's jump in and master the art of the strike zone. Before we dive into the nuances of the strike zone, let's ensure we understand exactly what it is. In its simplest term, the strike zone is a three-dimensional space. If a pitch were to pass through, it would be considered a strike, assuming that the batter doesn't swing. The boundaries of the strike zone are determined by the rules of baseball. The zone extends from the midpoint between the hitter's shoulders and the top of the uniform pan. That is your upper boundary, and then the lower boundary is the hollow beneath the kneecap. Now, visualize this boundary extending across the width of home plate, which is about 17 inches. However, it's important to understand that the strike zone isn't a one-size-fits-all concept. It can vary slightly depending upon a few factors. First, the batter's stance can affect the perception of the strike zone. A batter who crouches low will have a different strike zone than a batter who stands up tall. Second, while the rules provide the guideline, the strike zone can be subject to the umpire's interpretation. Each umpire may see and call the strike zone a bit differently based on their viewpoint and their judgment. This variability is part of the game and something that a skilled hitter must adapt to. So the strike zone is much more than a static box that you see on TV. It's a dynamic space that changes based on the batter's stance and the umpire's interpretation. Understanding this is the first step in mastering and becoming a better hitter. Now that we've covered the basics, let's dive deeper into how you can use this knowledge to improve your game. Now you might be wondering why it's so important to understand the strike zone. The answer is multi-basis touching upon core principles of the successful hitting. First and foremost, knowing the strike zone enables you to make better swing decisions. When you're up at the plate, you have a fraction of a second to decide whether you're gonna swing or not. Understanding the strike zone help you make that decision swiftly and accurately. If you can accurately anticipate whether the pitch is gonna be a ball or a strike, you are already a step ahead. Secondly, a solid understanding of the strike zone aids in improving your plate discipline. Plate discipline is all about self-control, about not swinging at bad pitches and waiting for the right ones to drive. Often, it's not about hitting every pitch, but hitting the right pitch. A batter with excellent plate discipline can draw more walk, get on base more often, and increase their on base percentage, which is a key offensive metric. Finally, knowing the strike zone can transform you into a more dangerous hitter at the plate. When you combine a good swing decision, when you combine good swing decision and solid plate discipline, you become a hitter that is very tough to pitch to. You'll be able to punish their mistake, draw more walks, and overall increase your opportunity to impact the game. A hitter who knows the strike zone can control the at bat, put pressure on the pitcher, and potentially force them to throw more pitches, which ha which can have a cascading effect throughout the game. So mastering the strike zone is much more than a technical understanding. It's about leveraging that knowledge to enhance your overall approach at the plate and ultimately to help your team win baseball games. The first step in understanding the strike zone is discerning the difference between strikes and balls. This might sound straightforward, but it's a skill that takes time and practice to refine. But what exactly is a strike and a ball? In simpler term, a strike is a pitch that crossed any part of the strike zone without the batter swinging. But there are other ways that strike can occur. If a batter swings the myth at any pitch, regardless of the location, it's a strike. 
Additionally, when a batter hits a foul ball, it's usually a strike, with the exception being if there are two strikes already. If the pitch is outside the strike zone and the batter doesn't swing, it's a ball. Batter can use this to their advantage as ball forwards can lead to walk, which grants them a free pass to first base. The ability to swiftly recognize whether a pitch is going to be a strike or a ball is critical as a hitter. This skill is known as pitch recognition. It's a critical part of a hitter's toolbox. The better you are at pitch recognition, the more likely you are to make good decisions at the plate. And let's be clear, pitch recognition just isn't for beginners. Even the best hitters continuously work on this skill. It is a process of constant refinement as pitchers continually develop new ways to deceive hitters. So remember, understanding the difference between strikes and balls and honing your pitch recognition is foundational to mastering the strike zone and becoming a better hitter. Improving your pitch recognition is one of the most effective ways to elevate your game as a hitter. And while it does require commitment to practice, there are several strategies that can accelerate your development. First, pay attention to the pitcher's release point. This is the spot where the ball leaves the pitcher's hand. By focusing on this point, you can glean valuable information about potential cues, direction, trajectory, and pitch speed. Different type of pitches often have slightly different release point and hand position. Over time, with careful observation, you can learn to recognize these subtle cues. Next, make it a point to track the ball all the way from the pitcher's hand to the plate. This is a fundamental skill in hitting, yet one that is many hitters overlook. By keeping your eye locked on the ball throughout the entire pitch path, you train your brain to recognize patterns in pitch movement, which can give you critical edge at the plate. Finally, it's got to be a priority. The more pitches you see, the better you'll become at recognizing balls and strikes. Spend plenty of time in the cages facing live pitches whenever possible. In addition, take time to watching live game study film of different pitchers. Notice their release point and the movement of their pitches and how hitters react. And above all, remember to be patient with yourself. Pitch recognition is a skill that takes time to practice and develop. It is a journey, not a destination. Even the best hitters in the world continue to work on their pitch recognition skills. So stay committed, maintain your focus, and trust the process. Over time, your hard work will pay off. While the strike zone is defined by the rule book, it's important to remember that the actual strike zone can be varied depending upon the umpire's interpretation. Some umpires might call a wider zone, some might favor lower or higher parts of the zone. This is one of the nuances of the game that adds an additional layer of strategy and adaptability to the game. As the hitter, learning to adapt to specific umpire strike zone during a game is a critical skill. It is part of the game that often goes unnoticed by the casual observer, but can significantly impact the outcome of the at-bat or even the entire game. So how do you adjust to different umpire strike zone? Here is some in-depth tips to help you adapt. First, take the time to observe the umpire's call earlier in the game when you're in the dugout. Pay attention to how the umpire is calling balls and strikes. Are they low pitches? Do they have a wide zone? This will give you an idea of their strike zone and you can adjust your approach accordingly. Secondly, effectively communicating with your teammates is key. Share your observation about the umpire's strike zone with your teammates. If you notice any patterns of tendency, make sure to discuss them. This collective knowledge will help everyone in the lineup make better decisions at the plate. Thirdly, don't be afraid to adjust your stance and your swing. If you find that the umpire consistently calls a particular area of the zone, consider making adjustments to better cover that area. That means that you might stand closer or farther away from the plate, rising or lowering your stance adjusting your hand positioning on the bat. Remember, flexibility is the hallmark of great hitters. Finally, and perhaps the most important, maintain your composure and focus. It's easy to get distracted with the umpire strike zone, especially if you disagree with the call. But remember, both teams are dealing with the same umpire and the same strike zone. That's part of the challenge of the game. Keep your focus on your approach 
at the plate, stay positive and control what you can control. By observing, communicating, adjusting, and staying composed, you can turn the variables of the umpire's strike zone from a potential setback into the opportunity to demonstrate your ability to adjust. Mastering the art of hitting starts with understanding the strike zone. It is a fundamental aspect that directly influences your effectiveness as a hitter. The strike zone is your battlefield. Knowing its dimension, recognizing when and where pitchers cross it, and adapting to its variation based on different umpires can give you a significant edge in this battle. By honing your pitch recognition, you'll be able to make more informed decisions at the plate, swinging at pitches that you can drive and laying off pitches that are likely to result in weak contact or out. Remember the key tip that we've discussed. Watch the pitcher's release point Track the ball all the way and practice as much as you can. In addition to being able to adapt to different umpires' strike zones, add a layer of strategy to your game. Observe, communicate with your teammates, adjust your approach, and maintain your composure are all essential aspects of dealing with these variations. Continually working on these skills in your overall hitting approach will put you on the path to becoming a more consistent and more dangerous threat at the plate. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced player looking to improve, these principles hold true at every single level of every game. I hope this deep dive into understanding the strike zone has been insightful and will help you in your journey becoming a better hitter. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts or any questions in the comments below. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more great strategic tips. Your growth as a hitter is our greatest reward. Thank you for watching. And remember, baseball is a journey filled with high and lows, but with dedication, patience, and love for the game, you can continually improve and enjoy every moment on the diamond. We'll see you in the next video.